first one, and it's the OG one, not the one in this series, so, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the, the first one is in the series anyway, since they reference all the boogeyman stuff, and all the other stuff that happened in the first movie, <clears throat> anyway, I'm just a little sick, but, anyway, I will talk about the things I did not like and the things I did like. There was, um, these three characters that they tried to treat like they were going to be a, a big thing. Like, there was Tommy Doyle, there was Lindsay, and there was some other chick. Though she didn't do anything important. So, I completely forgot what her name was. Anyway, Tommy Doyle ended up sucking. Like, I didn't like him in the first place. But if he would have at least shown that he could throw down with Michael for a little bit. Kind of like that meme that went circling around for a while. Where that one guy boxed Jason. Though, you know, I haven't seen any of the Jason movies yet. But, yeah, if he would have at least, you know, hit him with a bat a few times before Michael killed him. But instead, he swings the bat... Michael stabs him in the heart and then kills him with his own bat. He talked all that crap and he just gets killed easily. I didn't expect him to, you know, even get a scratch on Michael. But he should have at least hit him once with the bat. Because he talked all that trash. He didn't get one hit. Then Lindsay, God, she would have solved at least one of the big problems in the movie that they kind of just skim over. These, the, all the people in the hospital think that this guy is Michael, and he's like this mental patient, and he just wants help because he's scared, and only one person helps him, but she still doesn't really help him. I think she should have stayed in the room with him. That probably would have done way better. She stayed in the room with him and stood in front of him. It probably wouldn't have done too much because, you know angry mob but it would have done more than just locking the door on a herd of angry people and the only thing between the guy is glass doors so yeah he ends up killing himself but Lindsay could have fixed all that besides the character that didn't I think it was Karen anyway um, Lindsay, later, though I don't think it really makes sense, earlier in the movie, she faces Michael, she pulls his mask, and if I'm re remembering correctly, that, like, he doesn't let her get it all the way off, and he puts it back on, quits fighting her, and leaves. But he, she didn't get it all the way off. She got it close, but she didn't get it all the way off. She later says that, she saw him without the mask. And that could have been a big thing if she went to the hospital with everybody else. Would have solved all the problems. The mental patient would still be alive. But no, she just gets scared by Michael. Sees his face and disappears for the rest of the movie. Kind of like Mickey from Scream 2. Because she disappears for about... The rest of the movie I think was about half an hour maybe more. And when she sees Michael's face, she just disappears. Also, I didn't like how they killed the black couple. I'm only calling them that because I don't remember their names. They died 40 minutes in, in this almost two-hour movie. They seemed like they were gonna be the main characters. But they got killed in the dumbest way. Like, this girl was getting murdered in... The husband just stays in the car. He eventually gets killed. And then the wife goes to avenge her husband. And Michael just kind of like bounces the door. And she just shoots herself in the eye. It looked awesome. But it's a dumb death. I was surprised when it happened. It, it just looked so cool. It was so fast. It's a cool moment. But. It was dumb. Especially when they tried to make you think that they were going to be main characters. Because they focused on them for quite a while. For the beginning of the movie. 
I also don't get, like, I'm pretty sure Michael doesn't kill kids. Because in the beginning of the movie, he doesn't kill Tommy Doyle when he's young. Yet later, they kind of hint that he killed a kid named Dennis. Like, there's these kids that prank this gay couple. And pretend that one of them got, like, seriously hurt because there was a razor in the candy. And then there's this kid dressed up as a skeleton named Dennis that sneaks into the house and steals their whole bowl of candy. And then later we see Michael with Dennis's mask and the kids even talk about it. But it's never really mentioned again besides the fact that he puts it on one of the people he killed. The mask anyway. And what else? I thought it was kind of stupid that he killed the firefighters. I'm not angry like a lot of people. But he really didn't have a reason. For like the whole movie they were like, oh, he, he's killing these people to go back to his home. I don't think they were really in his way. Because he like went into the house to kill them. Because he had already killed a few people before that. He killed the one husband and wife. Which I didn't like the wife's death. She grabbed a knife. Had already unlocked the door. And instead she just watches Michael go grab a weapon to stab her in the throat. And begs for her life. Like, you just unlocked the door. You have a weapon. Why aren't you running? But yeah, he killed them first. So did they, like, go back in time for him to kill the firefighters? From, because of what I, from what I understand, they set the house on fire in the previous movie. So that should have been the first people he killed, the firefighters. But he left the house that was on fire, killed the couple, and then I guess he went back to the house and it was still on fire. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure the couple was killed first and not the firefighters. But, yeah, it was a decently entertaining movie. But it was definitely stupid at times, and some characters could have done more. Like, honestly, if they were going to make Lindsay seem like she's one of the few people to survive Michael Myers, and then she just survives him again and disappears from the movie, shouldn't that be a big deal? She survived him not one, but two times. But no, she's just gonna disappear from the movie. Don't worry about her. She's not important. <clears throat> but yeah, it was, it was entertaining. I thought the gay couple was cool. They were honestly my favorite characters. Big John and Little John. But do you think it was stupid that Big John got killed first? Because to me, it looked like they were hyping him up as like... The tougher person. But he just gets killed easily. But I did like that Michael. You know. Posed them kind of like. In their wedding picture. Or honeymoon or whatever. That was pretty cool. Though. At the same time you know. Michael you just gouged his eyes out. So he. Looked a little bit different. Anyway. I thought they were cool characters, but you know, they weren't main characters, so I get why they killed them. Same with the couple from the beginning, same with the firefighters. But I do not get why they killed Karen near the end of the movie. You got one minute left, and you're gonna kill one of the supposedly main characters in like a very cheesy way with like slow motion and shit. But yeah. It's entertaining, so if you want to watch it, watch it. Definitely not the best. I liked it better than the original, but it still wasn't very good. I, I just could not get into the original. 